All right, but it's not all good here. It's not all good here for the draft prospects because here we go. Titans fourth, tight, Titans fourth round pick, Rashad Weaver, charged with assault in April incident. Yikes, yikes. So let's see this article. Let's see how bad this assault was. So here we go. Tennessee Titans fourth round pick, Rashad Weaver, was charged Friday with one count of simple assault. Oh, simple assault. Oh, it's just simple assault. One shove, little shove. It's simple assault. It's not no right hook. It's no Aaron Donald accused crimes of literally making that man's eyes full. Now, that's compli complicated assault, not simple assault. Um, here we go. According to the criminal complaint against Weaver 23, Pittsburgh police found a woman lying on the ground surrounded by a group of people at the intersection of South 17th Street and East Carson Street at 2.28 a.m. on April 18th. All righty. Woman unconscious or laying on the ground. She's not unconscious or we don't know. They don't say that. Um, all right. Witness here at the, witnesses at the scene said that a large male man, that gave it away. He's a large male. He's a professional athlete. Large male identified as Weaver, later uh, punched the woman, Demetra Navgelis. Weaver was not at the scene when police arrived. That man dipped. He punched and ran. Simple assaulted and ran, this man did. Five minutes before the incident, police said there was an argument between Weaver and Nav... Nav Nav jealous, Nav, Nav jealous, Nav jealous at a nearby bar. Our officers separated the two and identified Weaver. Weaver told the officers before leaving the bar that he had no problem hitting a female if they needed it. <laughs> per the complaint. Oh, Jesus. I got no problem hitting a female. And then five minutes later, she's on the ground. So, all righty. Weaver, I mean, it's kind of sounded like it's him. He fled the scene. Not very good there. Uh, police contacted Navgelis on April 25th per the complaint. She told officers that she went to Ohio Valley Hospital on April 22nd because she was vomiting. What? Uh, Navgelis was diagnosed with a concussion at the hospital and got proof that she was pregnant at the time of the incident. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not only did this mammoth of a man of a professional athlete hit a woman, he hit a pregnant woman. Uh, Y'all are calling this simple assault? Mm, okay, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. A preliminary hearing in Weaver's case is scheduled for October 5th. Weaver's attorney, Dennis M. Blackwell, said in his statement, the allegations against my client are completely false and reckless. Completely false and reckless. We've got officers witnessing this, breaking them up be five minutes before the altercation took place. He said, the officer said that this man said he has no problem hitting a female if they needed it. He's guilty. <laughs> He's guilty, and I don't want to kind of, you know, I don't like to do this. I don't like calling people out guilty before any verdict or any all of the all uh, of all uh, or before all the information has come out. But folks, what are we, what are we talking about here? He's uh, completely false. These allegations are completely false and reckless. I understand this is what a lawyer is supposed to do, defend the client, but geez Louise, I wouldn't go completely false. In my statement, if I knew he was guilty, I'd be like, yeah, these are false. These, these allegations are false. I wouldn't go completely false and then go reckless, doubling down on it. But let's continue here. Uh, Mr. Weaver takes these charges very seriously. And we look forward to clearing his good name without question and without hesitation. We deny Rashad punched anyone, especially a woman, especially a pregnant woman. Uh, we intend to conduct a full investigation of these charges and intend to pursue all legal remedies available to Rashad. The Titan said in a statement, quote, we were made aware of the news this morning. We obviously take this seriously and are in the process of gathering details and working with the league. Okay, well... We'll see what happens. You know, Aaron Donald, he came out innocent. That you know, that was just, you know, wrong accusation there. But this one seeing a little bit more ironclad case. Man, oh man, hitting a pregnant woman, then she went to the hospital vomiting vomiting and she has a, a concussion. Yeah, so not the greatest year for a rookie. People get drafted and then they all go wild because they think they're invincible. But uh, we'll see what happens with this case. But uh, I don't think he's going to get kind of freed here like Aaron Donald did. But we'll see if any new information or evidence comes out. <clears throat>